Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Performance Myth Buster Part 1. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how buffer pool with 100% hit ratio can still have performance bottlenecks associated with it. This slide talks about the problem scenario. There is no there is no solution, there is no general solution or there is no solution in this slide because there is no general solution for performance issues. Uh, we have to deal it, deal it with only on a case by case basis. So there will be a lot of specific nature to a performance issue. So I, I can issue, see we can talk about some uh, performance guidelines to be followed so that the general health of the system or the database is good. So apart from that we cannot say you know for this performance so this is the symptom this is a performance issue so this should be the solution this is what will bound to happen like that we cannot generalize so i'm not i'm not saying any uh, i'm not indicating any solu solution here but this could be one of the scenarios that is what i'm saying and uh, in this specific tip that i'm going to talk about how a buffer pool if a buffer pool heat ratio is 100% then it does not indicate everything is hunky dory. So similarly, if a lesser um, uh, heat ratio is is uh, uh, getting reported in the uh, buffer pool heat ratio, it does not always indicate a problem, or that is where you need to tune. Okay. Now suppose if you have, for example, two buffer pools. One buffer pool is having say 70 to 80 heat ratio. Another buffer pool is having 100% heat ratio. Then we tend to concentrate or think that the, the buffer pool with 80% is performing poorly and we have to improvise on that buffer pool only like that. But it is not. So I'm going to show you how a buffer pool with 100% can, is still, I can tune it and get the maximum out of it. Okay. So let us uh, get into the... Uh, example so this is more like will be like an example uh, driven uh, so here already i have connected to the maple database i've created a buffer pool bp data of size 2500 uh, index buffer pool i have defined a separate index buffer pool which is also again 2500 pages i've created a table space data and associated that with buffer pool bp data i have created a table space id access so which will uh, which is like using the buffer pool bp id access and I'm creating a table staff. So the, the thing is, in the table staff, the data pages will be stored in the data table space, DATA DMS table space or automatic uh, DMS table space. The index will be stored in ID access table space. So from a buffer pool perspective, data pages are stored in the buffer pool area BP data. Index pages are stored in BP ID access. And I'm loading some 1 million records, I think, I don't know. Yeah, thousand thousands. Yeah, so it is 1 million records I'm loading. It's already done. So after that, I have act said activate not logged initially so that I don't run out of transactional log space. And I create four indexes on the table with various uh, columns. And I even issued commit. So all these things are already done. Okay. And I have even collected run stats also. I have not shown here, but I've collected the run stats also. So now what I'm going to do is this is the query that I'm going to focus on. So I'm going to. Uh, activate again not logged initially and I'm going to run an update query update table name set name equal to something where staff ID is between these two so this query is going to uh, perform in a very poor manner so that so it's going to take a very very lot of time long time you can see that see I have given the time and it is still not uh, completed uh, execution because it's a huge table so I'll show you what I want to show you so I'm going to I'm going to update the monitor switches and I'm going to show you, look at this, 91% heat ratio, whereas here 56% heat ratio. The buffer pool ID 2 is your uh, uh, BP data. So data heat ratio is calculated here, index heat ratio is calculated here. And you can see that, okay, sorry, you can see that, look at this, 93% of index heat ratio, whereas 60% only data heat ratio. So we will tend to focus more on the data heat ratio only, right? So, so why we should not do that is because I will show you one more metric. See here what is happening. Look at here. The problem is with the index heat ratio only. Even though, I mean, the problem is with the index buffer pool only. See, even though the buffer pool, the index heat ratio is 93%, the data heat ratio is 58%, still by by increasing the data hit ratio i i'll definitely it will improve the performance but the major major hit that i'm taking is in the index buffer pool only that is what i want to show you look at this metrics um, 
this dirty pool dirty page threshold claim right so currently my data is 2500 pages index is 2500 pages now two buffer pools are there with two different heat ratios i the the traditional thinking tells me that i should focus on the bp data buffer pool but i'm i'm i'm, I'm saying not the problem is with bp index buffer pool because of this metric uh, look at the dirty page steel clean and the threshold clean so there is a limited amount of buffer pool pages and they are getting filled and after that they see after reaching some 90 percent they will get cleaned so that cleaning is happening very 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 frequently you can see that see here and it will it will keep on like it will increase okay so it's not going to uh, so it's going to take a very very long amount of time this query is not going to complete in a short time so how to improve this so instead of fixing the data heat ratio i'm going to fix the buffer pool index heat ratio which is actually performing it at 100 percent heat ratio so that is the whole idea of this tutorial so let me just uh, do that so let me do connect reset okay then i also cancel this so this transaction is not going to go anywhere so i'll roll back and what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to drop the table i'll reduce the table space sizes and i'll fix only the index hit ratio that is what is the is the <clears throat> is the key here okay so i'm going to do that okay so i'm going to uh, change the uh, buffer pool index buffer pool to a size 10000 pages i'm going to leave the leave the data uh, data pages at only 2500 only right so i'm not changing that but let's see how how it works so i have connect reset after that now i need to again connect back so is the database deactivated yes uh, connect to my apple again so but then i need all the tables and everything right so i need to create the table again and load the data i need to all, do all these steps and also okay let me do first up to this for that itself it will take a long time okay so it's going to take a while so in the meantime yeah so in the meantime i'll talk about this so so if you have a so the solution is going to be the same see whatever the symptom may be the solution is going to be increasing the buffer pool page size only so because the problem is with threshold clean and it's not even steel cleans so steel clean means if one agent is going to try uh, to look up for a page in the buffer pool it's not available like you know it's not able to find it has to do the work to throw out some existing page out of the buffer pool and it has to read that page in so that is called as a uh, steel clean whereas threshold clean is something like the buffer pool is getting filled up like you know up to 90 percent of the pages are dirty right of of let's say there are 100 pages 90 pages in the buffer pool are dirty then the page cleaning will start so the page cleaning will trigger a lot of uh, uh, it's a it's a cpu intensive process and the page cleaning will push all the uh, buffer pool pages to the disk so it's also a disk intensive process so that is what is taking the toll on the system not your not your hit ratios the hit ratios are just for guidelines okay okay still the commit processing is happening it's going to take a while it seems okay okay So I'm not focusing on the index creation, how to speed up the index creation and all. Okay. So currently my, my problem query is this, this update statement we have run, it has taken, it was never completing with 2500, 2500 pages. Uh, it was never completing. And, uh, the problem is not with the data heat ratio, which is 70% or 75% like that. Whereas the problem is with the index heat ratio. That is what I want to show you. Okay, it's still going on. Okay, we'll have to wait it out. Okay, and let us in the meantime, I'll talk about another parameter. So this is pool LS and gap cleans. So this will not occur in our case because we have activated not logged initially. So the LSN gap cleans is like uh, the log gap, transactional log gap between your uh, 
between the oldest page in the buffer pool and the current uh, uh, position of the transaction log record. If it exceeds the softmax parameter value, then you will find that uh, the LSN gap clean triggers are coming in. So for a buffer pool, apart from hit ratio, you need to look at these LSN gap cleans, page steel cleans and dirty page threshold cleans. Okay. So they will also have a significant uh, impact on on the on the performance of the buffer pool. So you don't try to concentrate on one metric and see that yeah that so that metric is good so that's why the, the the buffer pool will not have any problem. So you have to look at a collective metrics. Okay. So it's taking a long amount of time. Usually it should have completed by this time. I don't know what is happening. Okay, let's see what is there in top. CPU, I don't see this C only it doesn't take that much amount of CPU cycles. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> so it's it look it took such a long time to commit. Okay, uh, now after that, what I'm going to do is oh, probably what I'll do is I'll do a connect reset. Let me let me uninitialize the database completely. Okay, so let me again now connect to Maple. Okay. Uh, so now I have increased the buffer pool and before yeah so let me connect to connect to maple here as well and okay so right now everything is cool okay now i'll run this query so the same query it should it should be able to complete at a faster rate now okay so let us run that query okay 
in the meantime we'll come and see here buffer pools okay so you can see you can see that <coughs> we have fixed the uh, index buffer pool cleaning page cleaning a lot okay the query is still running but you can see see this is what i want to show you so you can see that the index buffer pool page cleaning is fixed right so now the data table space is getting into some amount of page cleaning which could have been fixed by increasing from 2500 to say for example 5000 so that would have fixed this other page cleaning as well okay which we did not do but still you can see that the query got completed right so earlier when we did it with uh, so the, the point i'm saying is when we did when we had the data buffer pool and index buffer pool each 2500 buffer pool index was having hit ratio of 100 percent and data was having only 50 60 percent but still that was not the issue the index buffer pool was only the issue because of the huge amount of page cleaning that was happening here so i don't know i can show that to you now okay it's not available so we we saw that this in the buffer pool hit ratio index buffer pool hit ratio uh, was 100 percent but the cleaning was very heavily it was uh, it was doing so that was the root cause of the issue okay not the heat ratio okay heat ratio was 100 percent similarly with bp data also the heat ratio heat ratio even now it would it would have been you would have, you you can see that okay so you you could have seen see the, still the data heat ratio is 72 percent only and the index heat ratio is again 99 close to 100 percent right so the heat ratio still will not improve okay but the query will still run faster if it had uh, this page cleaning removed right see right now even 170 page cleaning is there now the question is i can even i can confidently say you know uh, instead of increasing uh, the the data hit the data buffer pool to 10000 pages uh, you you should be able to do with 5000 pages itself see if we don't know this particular threshold cleaning is stopping the 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 processing time we'll be just increasing the size of the buffer pool without knowing how much to increase right or you know like that or which buffer pool to concentrate so we have to identify the root cause what is happening what is slowing down the system why it is doing so then you have to hit at that point so that is why the performance is like a very very specific scenario it is not like a general scenario we cannot give some general solutions to performance uh, hope that's it in this video tutorial hope uh, hope this made much sense to to a larger uh, uh, audience so uh, thanks for watching this video please uh, subscribe to my channel youtube.com slash db2lew academy and uh, post in comments likes dislikes and everything in the youtube description page comments page or even i am also available in linkedin and twitter uh, so see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye